kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on live wallpaper app using Firebase. So, guys, in this video, we will try to create uh, a new project, and then we will connect the Firebase with our Android Studio application. Okay, so let's begin. Let me create a new project. So. Let's name our project as Mini Wallpaper Tutorial. All right, and let's try to select the domain as Mini. Okay, let's click on Next. Then we click on Next and select Empty Activity, and let's click on Finish. Alright, so now uh, the project is created, but there is an issue with my Android Studio. So all I have to do is every time is that I have to go to Project Structure. Then I need to click on App Dependencies, and inside here we need to remove that. It will be it is my Android Studio uh, issue, so you don't need to do that if your project is easily and successfully compiled. Alright. So let me first of all include all the dependencies. So first of all, we will be also be requiring this recycler view dependency because we will be using the recycler view. Then we will be using the sport design material design li uh, library. And also we, we will be using the card view. Okay, let's click on uh, OK. Alright, so the project is now ready to use with some dependencies which we have added. So, the first step is we need to create uh, the Firebase app in uh, Firebase console and then we need to uh, link the app to our Android Studio application ok so for that let's try to go here and let's try to change my account alright let's create a new project and let's try to name it as live wallpaper let's try to change the location to Pakistan and let's try to create the project So now the project is ready to use. So we need to add Firebase to our Android app. So for that, first of all, we will be requiring the package name. So we need to, we can say, we need to copy that and paste it here. And let's name it as Live Wallpaper App. All right, let's click on register now. And now we need to download the Google services dot JSON. All right. So now we need to remove these two. And we need to have. We need to download it again. Uh, 
forward we uh, already have copied it and let's go to our project view and inside our app folder so we just need to paste it here alright so after that we will be clicking on next and here we will copy that and paste it here then we will also copy ok so we will just copy that and paste it below here sorry and now we just need to click on synchronize now So after that, we will be having, uh, we need to use the relative layout. Alright, we will click on skip and there you go. So now we have easily connected the firebase with our application so after that we will be requiring the maven repository here so here we can just copy that and paste it here and now we need to click on sync now so now the application the Gradle will compile and now we can easily use the dependencies so we can say file based dependencies and we will be using the database dependencies okay and also we will be using the ui dependency com dot firebase ui colon firebase Okay, let me see that again. Here is the dependency for Firebase. Yes. We will just copy that and paste it here. and now we just need to click on synchronize now So I think it is uh, complete. We have easily integrated the Firebase to our Android project and also we have added the dependencies. So that is it for today. So in my next video we will try to write the code for our mini wallpaper application using 
find this okay if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye